Hello there, my name is Guy. I am one of the ward managers on the renal transplant unit at the Manchester Royal Infirmary and uh, I'm here to go through just a few bits about what might happen when you come to have your transplant in Manchester and how we might look after you on the ward. So, um, you'll first come to the ward when you've already received a phone call from one of our transplant coordinator team who you've already seen a video from today. Um, you will arrive on the ward and if it's within what we call office hours, 8 till 4, Monday to Friday, you'll probably be greeted by one of the transplant coordinator team. Other than that and outside of those hours, it'll be either myself or one of the uh, transplant nurses on the ward. So when you come to the ward, there'll be um, a number of things that we'll do to you to prepare you potentially for an operation. Uh, we'll take some blood from you. We'll take an ECG, which is an electronic trace of the heart. You'll have a chest x-ray, which will be done down in our radiology department or on the ward, depending on the current status. You'll also be admitted by one of the nursing staff and we'll get one of our junior doctors to come and see you as well. You'll have a review by a member of the surgical team and by a member of the anaesthetic team in order to make sure you're fit and well for surgery. You'll also, depending on your clinical status and need, potentially have some dialysis that may be facilitated on the ward or on one of our dialysis areas elsewhere. One of the questions we often get asked about is how long you'll be in theatre. Now this can vary massively between cases and there are other factors to take into account including portering time, your anaesthetic time and your recovery time. Now your time going off to sleep is usually anywhere between an hour and 90 minutes. Um, your operation, if you're having a kidney transplant alone, will be somewhere between two and a half and three hours. And if you're having a simultaneous pancreas and kidney, or a pancreas, it can be anywhere from four to six hours. We also factor in about two hours for recovery. So the actual period of time that you're off the ward is much longer than the surgical time that's been quoted to you previously. So that's something to bear in mind for your relatives. Often the ward staff don't have a great deal of information about what's going on in theatre. We sometimes get an update to say it's gone well or there's an issue and we will pass that on as soon as we possibly can. Um, if you're having a pancreas transplant, they routinely go back to our critical care area, um, which is on the first floor and we'll provide directions and contact details for them for your relatives. If you're having a kidney transplant, you normally it will come straight back to the unit. Hello, my name is Rose. I'm one of the junior assistants on the ward, on the transplant ward. I'm just here to explain you what will happen to you after you've had your transplant when you come back on the ward. So, as you come back, don't be surprised, you'll be attached to many monitors and pumps and you, what you'll be hearing very often is, is going to be some bleeping sounds, but it's part of the protocol. You will be attached to a monitor, you will have a uh, some fluid going through a Baxter pump. You will have a, ca a catheter to monitor your urine. You, you will also have a drain to monitor some of the fluid that is coming out of your body. But bear in mind, we are all trained to look after you after this surgery. It is a massive surgery, so we understand that you'll be also in pain. So some pain relief will be provided, and you will be also provided with some with a, a device that we call pa patient control analgesia, where you give yourself some pain relief from time to time uh, so we can manage your pain much better. And you will also be using oxygen because you will be in need of oxygen. We'll, we'll be there to look after you, support your breathing as you go through the, your, your recovering process. So this is part of what you will be having on the world. And we'll be there to support you making sure we monitor you every single day. And as I said, every single day we keep a close eye on you after you've had your transplant operation, regardless if it is the kidney transplant, pancreas transplant, or both, you, you, will, you will be closely monitored on the ward. You will be doing blood tests at least every day and more than once a day if if needed because in some occasions we need to check them more than once a day and we will keep a close eye on on your input and output which means how much you drink and how much you you pass in terms of your urine we'll have to keep a close eye on how we monitor you on the world 
we will weigh you every day just make sure we keep an eye on how much weight you've gained or lost during your stay in hospital every single day surg the surgical team will come to review you on the world and we'll make sure every that every day that happens and sometimes people still need, need dialysis and will be there to support you and arrange for this to happen as well and pain pain is always uh, an issue that people ask us about uh, pain medication will be there some exercises breathing exercises will be done uh, physiotherapists will be there to support you during the process to make sure that your pain care is well managed as well if you are diabetic of course we also know how to look after our diabetic patients even if they've been through the transplant we are here to comfort you and we assure you that you'll be well looked after on the world regardless what background you have uh, any uh, apart from the kidney problem you can have other problems nurses on the transplant unit we are trained to do that properly so once you are medically fit for discharge we will make sure we give you all the necessary information that you need to take home with, uh, all the necessary advice that you will need, wh whether it is from the nutrition point of view or your clinic appointment or any other advice that you will need. So we'll, you'll be provided with uh, some information pack to take home, your clinic appointment and how often you'll be going for your clinic appointment just to make sure that your recovery is better. We have recently implemented and developed um, an enhanced recovery pathway for patients undergoing a kidney transplant. So the, th the theory behind the enhanced recovery program has been going um, on for quite some years now in other areas of the hospital and we have recently implemented it for our kidney transplant recipients. Um, the idea is, is to reduce complications and get you out of hospital as quickly as possible um, this, whilst you're on the ward, we will involve you in this process as much as we possibly can. Your enhanced recovery forms will be at the end of your bed on a clipboard and you will be involved each day in those processes and making sure you're meeting the targets set for you. This will be explained more um, once you come to the ward and by one of our physios who's here to talk about enhanced recovery as well. The length of stay um, following your transplant can vary greatly. Now. As previously mentioned, with the implementation of enhanced recovery, our aim is to get you out of hospital as soon as it is possible and as soon as you're well enough to do so. So if you've had a kidney transplant, we would aim for between four and five days to be getting you home. This stay can be up, up to seven to 10 days, depending on multiple factors. If you're having a pancreas or a kidney pancreas transplant, we would expect your length of stay to be anywhere between 10 days to three weeks, 21 days. We will always aim to get you home as quickly as possible, as and when it is safe to do so. We would rather discharge you once properly than have you come back to hospital with a complication. Hello, my name's Lisa Laycock and I'm the sister who runs the renal transplant clinic here at Manchester Royal Infirmary. Um, so just really to talk to you about your experience that you will um, have in the, in the clinic once you've been discharged from hospital after your transplant. You will meet members of the, of the clinic team, which include the nursing team, um, the transplant surgeons and the nephrologists, the pharmacy team who have already spoken to you earlier, um, and will also be nursing assistants, phlebotomy staff and clerical staff as well. So following your discharge from the ward, um, you will come to clinic initially twice a week. Um, usually that would make up of one visit to be seen by the doctor and the other visit to be seen by the nursing team to have your blood tests and, and review. If obviously you do need to see the doctor on that day then we would arrange that but that would be the format that we would, would try to follow. Um, your frequency of visits will decrease over time so they'll go from twice a week to once a week and then they will get to a minimum of every three to four months in the long term but it does take about a year to 18 months before you would reach that level of follow-up. After the initial post-operative stage, some of your ap appointments will then move to telephone or video link, which will um, avoid you having to spend so much time in the hospital. Um, we do aim at three months' time to have our patients back to their referring hospitals for those who live outside of the, the Manchester Royal Infirmary catchment area. And they will take over your long-term care 
and follow you up long term. So what actually happens in the clinic? Well, it's like an extension really from when you're in the ward. You'd certainly manage your weight and your blood pressure. And you'd have blood tests and urine tests as necessary. Any wound care management we would look after in the early days after your transplant. So in terms of your dressings and, and managing that. So you wouldn't need to have district nurses come into your home. Most likely we can take care of all that for you in the clinic. You will have a medical consultation with the doctors on the days that that's, that's needed and also pharmacy review at certain points and the nursing team are always there to offer you any support and advice that you might need. In the early days we say appointments can take a little time particularly if you do need to see the doctor and the pharmacist and have your dressing changed and bloods etc so we do say allow about one to two hours um, initially um, but moving on from that then the visits should get less lengthy. Um, outside of the, the clinic times the nursing team are always there to offer you any advice and we're available on the telephone in the afternoons, generally between 1.30 and 3.30, so you can always ring us if you've got any queries or anything you've forgotten to ask in the clinic. We also have patient view available that patients can sign up to. Some of you may be familiar with that from your other hospitals or you've been on it previously, and that allows you to be able to see your own blood results online, download the app and be able to keep a track on, on how your kidney function is doing. Clinic set up, so our clinics are held each morning in the main outpatient department here at Manchester Royal Infirmary. They start at 8.30 and run till around 11.30. So we will give you an appointment within that time frame. So we do ask if you can, if, where possible, try and stick to your appointment time so we can avoid having um, long delays of people waiting in the clinic. In terms of transport, um, the hospital will provide transport for anybody who needs it to come to the hospital for the first six weeks after their transplant. That's because obviously at that during that time, those who drive are unable to drive and we wouldn't really advise that you come on public transport at that point. But after six weeks, um, that would stop and those who do still require hospital transport for any other medical reasons would then need to get that by your GP. So in terms of uh, the clinic follow-up, we're really looking to support you with long-term follow-up after your transplant. All transplant patients are followed up um, long term whether that be still here at MRI or back at your own hospital and we really want to help you to support you to maintain a healthy lifestyle, eat a healthy diet, make sure that you've got the advice you need to support you taking your medications as you need to and that you don't run out of any supply or miss any doses. Um, it's important for us to help you that you can attend your appointments regularly so we can keep an eye on how things are doing for you and we're always there to help you on a range of matters whether that's in the early days, advice about getting back to work or going away on holiday or even more longer term, family planning, protecting your skin and any general health promotion advice.